Okay, in this video, we're going to look at the notion of an index uh, with respect to a primitive root modulo n. Sometimes this is called the discrete logarithm. So the definition is as follows. So we let r be a primitive root modulo n, and uh, let's pick another integer a such that the GCD of a and n is 1. Then we define this thing i sub r a to be the least natural number, so positive integer, such that r to the m is congruent to a mod n. So notice this looks like a logarithm exponential type of definition, and that's exactly what it is, except we're just working in modular arithmetic. Okay. Okay, so now we want to look at a basic example of this notion. So uh, let's recall that uh, 3 is a primitive root mod 7. So what that means is that the order of 3 modulo 7 is phi of 6, or sorry, phi of 7, which is 6. So now let's calculate all powers of 3. So we have 3 to the 1 is obviously 3. 3 squared is 9, which is 2. Good. And then um, 3 cubed will be 3 times 3 squared, so that's 3 times 2, which is 6. Notice 6 is the same thing as uh, negative 1. Uh, so notice 3 to the 4 is equal to uh, 3 times 3 cubed. So uh, 3 times 6 is 18, and 18 is 4 more than 14. So this will be 4. Good. And then uh, 3 to the fifth will be three times three to the four, so that's three times four, which is 12, which is five. And then finally, three to the six is one, and we don't really need to do anything there because we know the order of three is six, given the fact that it's a primitive root. Okay, so now we can rewrite all of these equations in their index equation, or in other words, with respect to their discrete logarithm. So let's see. So this means the index with respect to 3 of 3 is 1, good. Um, the index with respect to 3 of 9 is 2. The index with respect to 3 of 6 is 3, because 3 cubed is 6. The index with respect to 3 of 4 is 4, because 3 to the 4 is 4. The index with respect to 3 of 5 is 5, and then finally, the index with respect to 3 of uh, 1 is 6, because 3 to the 6 is 1, and that's the least positive number that makes that happen. Okay, so I'll clean up the board, and then we'll look at another example real quick. Okay. In this next example, we want to recall that 2 is a primitive root modulo 9. Now let's look at the powers of 2. So 2 to the 1 is obviously 2. 2 uh, squared is equal to 4. 2 cubed is equal to 8, which is negative 1 mod 9. 2 to the 4th, so that will be 16, which is the same thing as... 7 mod 9, good. Um, 2 to the 5th will be the same thing as 2 times 2 to the 4th, which is uh, 7 times 2, which is 14, which is 5 mod 9. And then finally, 2 to the 6th, so that'll be 2 times 2 to the 5th, 2 times 5 is 10, which is 1 mod 9. So notice we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers here, but we expected the order of 2 modulo 9 to be 6 because, let's recall that phi of 9 equals 6, and something's a primitive root if it... Um, it's that largest possible order. Okay, so now what we want to do is rewrite each of these in their discrete logarithm form or their index form. So we're doing this discrete logarithm with a base of b or this index with respect to b. So notice this tells us that the index 2 of 2 is 1. Good. The index 2 of 4 is 2, the index 2 of 8 
is three. So notice since we're working mod nine, this just looks like normal arithmetic. And then the index two of seven is four. That's rewriting that equation. The index two of five is five. And finally, the index two of one is six. Okay, good. So uh, that finishes this, this example and then this video.